good morning. Today is Friday. It is the last day of September, September 30th, 2022. I'm just sitting here having a cup of coffee. I forgot to turn on the dishwasher last night, so my nigga bill cut it clean. I walked to woke up this morning. You know, you, 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 you pack everything in the dishwasher, I'll put everything in there, and put the soap, the dish detergent in, put everything, everything's in there, and then you go upstairs and go to bed and forgot to hit the start button. So I don't have any clean dishes or nothing. I gotta. Uh, I should have just started this morning, but I need to. Um, I'm gonna have to cook, cook some breakfast in a minute anyway. So anyway, today is Friday. It's September 30th, it's the end of the month. The 2022 is slowly coming to an end. So uh, I have, I get a lot of questions from a lot of my clients about a lot of these guys. Why these guys are doing all these only fans? Why they have fans only, or whatever you want to call it. Why are so many young black men choosing to do porn on the internet as a subscription service? Um, and, and I can't put my finger on it because it, 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 it seems kind of odd. Here we are in 2022. There's so many amazing opportunities um, for people out here. But you got some of our most attractive men and women deciding that they would rather do pornography. A risky business with that, you know, that leaves them at, at risk for STDs, mental health issues, all sorts of problems. Um, besides the fact that once you post this stuff on the internet, it's going to be there forever. It's never going to be. Why are they making these, this decision? The only thing I can think of is that financially these guys are struggling. America seems to have moved on from black folks. And I'm y'all, I'm learning something. A lot of black folks are not doing very well financially in 2022. And they've been, this has been a steadily decline. As incomes are rising for many whites and Latinos, black folks seem that their incomes seem to be going down. Those who, it's hard to put a finger on because we have a, what used to be a healthy middle class black America doesn't exist anymore. Either you got money in black America or you don't. There is no really middle ground there no more. And if even if you have an education doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna that's gonna translate into a higher income, depending on what you got your education in. Because you got a lot of I know several guys who college educated, who been to school, and they running around doing this porn on the internet. I used to think, well, maybe these guys are lazy. You know, maybe they can't find something productive to do with their time. Maybe just they just don't know the other opportunities out there. Maybe they're just lazy. Maybe they could just be a little bit slow. But black people, we we are in a bad position here in this country right now. We, we, we're so caught up in the fantasy world of the internet and social media that we're not seeing the poverty and despair in our communities. It was interesting to see that channel where the guy interviews all these homeless people here in Atlanta. I've known Atlanta had a, a homeless problem for years, but it ain't just Atlanta. You get homeless people everywhere. And a lot of these people are black men who are homeless, no income, no job, no place to live. And it's kind of like, damn, how did they end up like this? Of course, drugs, drinking, mental health issues. But another issue, no training in any sort of skill sets to help them do anything. When I was working on this house, these Hispanics and Latinos showed up here. They knew how to do everything. Sheetrock, plumbing, electrical, heating and air, brickwork. I mean, everything. They just worked their asses off. But every time I had somebody black come over here, it was, it was, it was sad, y'all. I wanted to work with these black contractors, but in many instances, the, the prices were so astronomically high for the little bit of work that they were doing. Or their quality of work was so terrible. I was like, okay, I can't do this no more. No skills. The actors, you know how to paint. We don't paint. We don't do this. We don't do that. They used to Spanish. They wouldn't try any damn thing. They would just, and, and, and for the most part, the work came out great other than there was a mix up on the painting here. But everybody else seems to like it, so I just leave it alone for the time being. I'm like, we we paint this whole big ass house. But it's sad to see so many young black men choose a life of porn, pornography, or escorting, which is what that leads to. 
Now, I'm in the gym all the time, and I meet guys. Y'all yeah, meet <laughs> people just walk up to me, and I smile. I meet a lot of folks. And as I meet these people and I get to know them, I'm thinking, hey, you know, yeah, you, you'll meet somebody, you exchange information, and then something might pop up on Twitter or Instagram that catches your eye, and then you kind of hit that and say, what is this? And you look and say, oh, shit, here they are. Buddy has naked on Twitter. There was a guy I used to kind of work out with together at Madhouse Gym. We, hey, we, sometimes we just show up at the same time. We work out together. You know, black guy. Nothing, nothing. Think about it. We be working out. Going about our business, laughing, having fun, talking about all kinds of stuff. But he never told me he had a, a fans only, a only fans account. <laughs> that just so happened to see some nude pictures of him on Twitter. And I looked and I looked at him for it. I told him, oh my God, this man's having sex with all these people. I'm thinking. <laughs> and I, I told myself the next time I saw him, I was going to ask, why did you choose that? And why would you choose this path? You're young, 25, 26, 27 years of age. You're a nice looking brother. You're in bodybuilding. Why pornography? What's the, what's, what led you down this path? And y'all, for all that porn that you all see, the niggas ain't making no money. I'm telling you. They start off making money because it's a new face, new body. Everybody's looking at it. Then gradually, the numbers drop like a rock. And when them numbers drop, you know. <sighs> You know, they start off making all this money, maybe $10,000, $15,000, 20000 you know, a couple of months. But after that, they're lucky to be bringing in a couple grand a month. Lucky. And, it's, and so many of them are doing this. It's kind of like, wow, all you guys are doing this? This is a, And then one, I had met one guy, he's an, he was an aspiring actor. Well, my agent said, it's fine. And he don't see anything wrong with me doing this. And your agent told you this shit? And you believe them? You think you're gonna be able to end, uh, do, do a successful acting career based upon what you're doing? Over that I'm, this mess that you didn't post it up on Twitter? I'm thinking these people are kind of. Then as I got another issue here, y'all, we got a lot of mentally unstable people in the black community, and this is a major issue here. These guys are very mentally unstable. And as you get to know these guys, you say, oh, this motherfucker crazy as hell. You say, oh, God, they crazy. And the more I meet these guys, the particularly the ones who do this type of stuff, they kind of off. They ain't all together there. Because think about it. Nobody in their right mind would purposely harm themselves in that way. See, they don't think they haven't, they're doing anything harmful to themselves, but they are. Um... I just sit back and, 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 and wonder. You know, I had a client stop by and we were talking and I know he has a one of those internet porn subscription services. And I said, well, how are you doing? He's like, man, you know, sometimes I'm good and sometimes it's really, you know, it's just not really good. I said, yeah, I, yeah, I could imagine, you know, you're trying to, yeah, I, then he made the statement, you know, one day, you know, I really want to be in a relationship. And I'm thinking, well, how are you going to be in a relationship with somebody and you're doing pornography where you're having multiple sex party part partners with men and women. You're fucking men and women on the internet. And transgender. So I'm thinking, you sticking your penis up in any damn thing. And you think somebody's gonna want to be in a relationship with you and you're doing all this stuff on the internet. I don't think this is gonna work out too good. Now, I've had a couple of other clients who tried the 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 OnlyFans or fans only, whatever websites. And it was disastrous for them. And they really wish they had not done that. And um, one person lost his job, had a nice paying job. I was thinking, well, why would you do that in the first place? You think the folks were going to find out your job was going to find out? And just say, oh, okay, that's not no deal. They got rid of this. And he's like, I should have never done that. I had been on that job for years, made some pornography videos. And people found out that this this site existed with him doing porn and they fired him. They covered him and Georgia's a right to work state. They can get rid of your ass for any damn reason in these jobs and you really don't have any recourse. But you just have to wonder why are so many of these black guys doing this the bottom line job? They have no skill sets. They have no skills. They can't do anything with these hands. Only thing they can use is their penis, 
Are you here, so? That's it. They have no skills. And going to college and getting a degree doesn't necessarily give you a skill set. You got a fancy degree that you're hanging on the wall that you owe $99 million for. But if you haven't learned a skill set, Oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I, you, didn't, you didn't found the squeaky part, huh? Give me this. He's down here under my feet. Give me that. He just being... Uh, I gave him a bath last night. Come here. Ah, ah, ah. Come here. He's trying to run with the squeaky toy. Where are you going? Get, where? Get over here. Come on. I tried to run off with the squeaky toy. I gave him a bath, nice and clean, smell fresh too. You smell good too, too. You smell good getting your haircut. But we can't, you can't, we cockers, you're not supposed to give him a haircut for the first six months. That's why his hair is going, oh, wow. Your hair look wow. I'm like, yeah, it's wow. But it's nice, but you are clean though. I smell clean. Thank you for the bath, daddy. So that other motherfuckers wouldn't go give you no bath. You let your ass be dirty around here. I gave you a nice hot bath. Scrubbed your ass all night. I'm scrubbing your ass too. I'm nice and clean. Then I dried you and dried him up real nice. He made a mess in that bathtub too. You were just splash. You trying to escape. I was giving that bad rule. Y'all should have saw his ass trying to escape. We were tussling up there. It was a battle. He did not want to take that bath. But he finally got nice and clean. Nice and clean, clean. All right, go ahead. Here. Go, go, go. But I'm not going to let you have this. Get out. Get out. Here, take it. What? What is wrong with this dog? The any old way, back to what I was saying about these crazy the fans only only fans guys. These guys have lost their minds. And if they think that this is a long-term career plan. <laughs> okay. They really think, they don't even understand the damage that this is doing to their possible careers. Y'all, I got a few friends who used to do porn. They said it was the worst mistake they ever made. And they really regret it. In fact, I've had a few friends who do porn, did porn who committed suicide. They're dead now. They couldn't find jobs. They couldn't move forward. They couldn't get into relationships. This porn was all over the internet. A lot of these guys have tried to have the pornography removed off the internet. There was this one guy. I never forget this. This was about back in 2006, 2007. He blew up on the porn scene. And he did some videos where he went to a very nice looking brother. I actually see him at the gym. He did some videos where this might be a little graphic. He did some videos where he went to Arizona and had sex in a public event with thousands of people standing around and this man was up there getting fucked by these various other people. And everybody talked about that video like, wow, I can't believe he did that. And then I would see him at the gym and I would just kind of look like, what enters your mind to allow yourself to go into a outdoor event with thousands of people at this resort and you're laying up there having sex with all these people? Now see, that man now regrets that. And he's worked really hard to try to have these videos removed off the internet and try to take it down because he realized he fucked up. We all allowed to make mistakes when we're young. They all come back to haunt our asses and ask me how I know. But some stuff is complicated because although he's trying to pull those videos down off the internet, they're still there. And they're still on certain sites. And I know he has aggressively decided to get away from that porn Im image. I, I, I know quite a few guys who used to do porn, y'all, and they're not happy. They're miserable. And they really, really wish that was something they had not done because of the stigma attached to it. And as they try to move on with their lives, they can't move past it. Whether they, they just, they're stuck. And it don't take nothing but an internet search these days. You throw in somebody's name and walk, but there it is. It's like, okay, what the fuck is this? All this stuff. Because people going to tag you, put your name. This is so-and-so, 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 so-and-so. And then it pulls up. Now, this particular guy who's been pulling this off, trying to get this stuff off the internet, he's been, he's been spending, he's spent some money trying to get this stuff down. But it's a constant battle. There are companies that can help you clean up your internet image. They'll pull some of this stuff down. However, 
I mean, you got constant people re-uploading, and re it's a constant battle. I'm trying to think of that boy's name. A lot of y'all might know him. He did that video with them having sex with him in that public spot. And I never get people, when I walk through there, did you see this? I said, where is it? And they turn I said, ooh, that's what he did this weekend. He went down to Arizona. And they like, and they talked that, that foolishly talked him into, um, foolishly talked that man into doing that pornography. Um, almost, hold on. I remember what site it was. There it is. He foolishly went down there. I don't know if this thing gonna work or not. He foolishly went down there. Very foolishly went down there and did this shit. And boy, did he, he should have never did that shit. I can't think of his name. It'll, it'll be anybody. He did that pornography. And the funny part is all three, they did a video together, it was three of them. Later on, now all three of those guys that did that Porn. I knew. I know all three of them. Um, one I knew. We're not them all after they did that point, but it was three guys in the video, and um, all three of them have really regret that they had got um, leered, lured into doing pornography. It didn't financially might have helped them financially at that time, but they realized later on that that was probably the worst mistake they ever made in their entire lives doing that porn. Anyway, I can't find a guy's name. I was gonna, I don't see it on here. I don't even see his pictures on so maybe he got his, but I'm also looking. He might have gotten it removed because I had looked before to see. I know he was, oh, that's interesting. How did it pop up like that? That's crazy. Um, that's interesting. It popped right up on my laptop. That was weird. But anyway. Yeah, these old porn actors, they, they, they make, they made some, you know, these guys are real nice looking brothers too. And it's kind of like, I'm on the site looking at this shit and I'm thinking, why? I never understood why these guys, why they got themselves involved in this mess. Um, there's one of them, the artist. But I'm looking for in particular, he's been working real hard to get this stuff down off these sites. Uh, anyway, I'm probably not going to find it. But I know one thing, I know he hates the fact that he did this damn porn. He hates it. And he'll tell people all the time, he's did, uh, he's removed all his social media. He used to be on Facebook and Instagram. He took all that stuff down. He has more private accounts now. Um, you know, when you make a mistake and do something like porn, you better know what the hell you're doing. Because it's going to come back to haunt your ass. And, uh, I don't care what nobody saying. Pornography ain't the ticket. It's not the, not the path. That I would suggest anybody take it because it's going to lead it's going to lead to disaster. And those of you who decide to go down that path, and y'all, I know a lot of these guys who are doing this mess. A lot of them, a lot. I'm just making say, well, how are they thinking? But they don't know no better. They don't know any better. And it's going to come back to haunt their asses. They're going to be still <laughs> like my friend. Says, I want to be in a relationship. Well, I'm thinking, well, who want to be in a relationship? With a guy who's having sex with all these people without a condom, might I add, none of you remember that everybody doing raw porn these days, with no condom. But I don't know how. Well, what are y'all? What are they thinking? It's like, okay, y'all even lost your damn minds. <laughs> now, one thing I would do if I, in which I would never do this bullshit, I believe, I would make sure I least have a condom on my hand. I don't want to be fucking somebody and put on a condom, a couple of condoms. I mean, why would you? Listen, I don't know what these niggas are thinking. But it will come back to haunt their answers. It ain't going to be nice. So those of you who are thinking about going down this path, you better think twice. And you better think long and hard. And I really wish some of these guys who used to do porn would be more vocal about discouraging people from coming down this path and walking down that path because... It, it never worked out well for these guys. Never. Never, ever. So, but hey, people are going to do what they want to do. Some people will have to find out the hard way. Some people are going to learn. Their life is very complicated. And they're going to find out the hard way that this may not be the path for them to do this crazy foolishness. And that is going to work. It's not going to work out too well for them. But people are going to do what they want to do. Now, I don't suggest, I don't think this is a good idea at all. I would never suggest that. I might jokingly say something like that, but I, don't, I already know 
How does this going to end for these guys? Not good. But they're going to do what they want to do. Like I said, they're just idiots. They don't know nobody. They have no skill sets. They can't go do nothing else. And here we go with the deck. Get, get over here. Come here. Come here. Anyway, it's about time. I, I, my coffee didn't get cold. Plus, I'm hungry. Today is Friday. It is September the 30th, the last day of September. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, I had to. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, no. Come here. Anyway, he goes having a good time. Today is Friday, September 30th, the year 2022. I'm out of here, you all. And I'll be back in touch with you all later. Have a great day. Have a great Friday. Bye. Yeah, let me stop this.